Professor Lubano. Today I'd like to um, share with you a little tip on how to verify the ownership of a website when you're hosting your website domain on Bluehost. So we'll use this example of Undameta and what we'll do is we'll quickly copy the name of the platform and go to um, Google Google Search Console. So you'll just do a little search and click the first thing that you see. And then once it comes on, just click Start Now. Of course, what will happen is when you check on the left hand side, you will see all your listed domains. So in this instance, we'll add one. So a dashboard will come on and you will choose the right hand side um, where it says URL prefix and you will copy the website link. Notice that mine has an S meaning it's a sec secure website. Then you will click continue. Once that is done, it'll pop up um, a little screen or window and you'll have several options to choose from. So it'll request you to verify the ownership using various modes. There's HTML file. You can also use these other verification methods. There's HTML tag, Google Analytics, Google tag, manager and domain name provider. So it doesn't matter which one you choose. All you need to do is choose the one that you feel is appropriate for you or easiest for you. In my case, I'll choose the HTML tag and simply click it and it will have created a HTML tag which I simply need to copy. Now it's very important you read the instructions here. It says copy the meta tag below and paste it into your site's homepage. It should go in the head section before the first body section. So you copy this and then you'll come back to this window. So we'll open um, Undameta's um, cPanel and go to the dashboard. It takes a while to load. So where to get the area where you're going to paste your HTML tag is you navigate to appearances which is down here and then you'll go down to theme file editor once you're there be careful when you're on this page because this is the source codes for everything on your website you will then look for something that says head or header and there's one here that says theme header so you click that because we're trying to look for the line code where we shall copy and insert our code. Once you're there, um, as you can see, there's a lot of narrative here. Without disrupting any of them, you will quickly click there and tab and put your code right there by copying it. And then nicely go down and say update file. Excellent. So the file edit has been successful. You will then go back to your Google um, Search Console and click verify. And that is it. That's done. Thank you very much for watching.